So let me get this straight. You want me to pull out the electric pump so you can put in a manual pump. My husband and I nodded at the man who had come to remove our broken electric pump. He scratched the back of his head kind of funny, a sort of half smile crease in his cheeks. You know, he said, most folks are going the other way. The idea of hand pumping water in the 21st century must seem a little backward at first glance, but we, like many other homesteaders, farmers, and preppers, knew that having a system that allowed us to fetch water with nothing other than two arms and some time could have some serious benefits. Manual water pumps should be a consideration for anyone who has a well run by an electric pump, and should even be considered by those who have city water. Though water towers create water pressure with gravity, the only way that water gets up into the tower in the first place is by being mechanically pumped. And when you realize that all it takes is a long power outage to cut you off of your water supply, I bet most of you would like to be able to access it no matter what the circumstances. Manual water pumps are one way to build a little resilience into your homestead, whatever the size. So hope you'll stick around so we can talk about the basics about what it takes to use a little hand power to draw your own water. Now the world has changed quite a bit since the Laura Ingle days of drawing water with a bucket on a pulley. If you decide to make the switch to manually pumped water, you may find that there are two companies that really dominate your searches online. Both Simple Pump and Bison Pump are well established, pardon the pun, hand operated pump businesses with a solid customer base and loss of experience. Though there are other companies that offer manual pumps, both Bison Pump and Simple Pump are made in the USA and are relatively easy to incorporate into an existing well. Though the design has been modernized, all wells pretty much function the same way. Drill a hole deep enough into the earth that you reach an aquifer and then find some way to bring that water to the surface. A manual pump really isn't that much different than an electric one, save the very obvious fact that your arms, not the grid, are drawing the water. When you pump the handle up and down, you are moving a rod and piston within a long PVC pipe that's been lowered below your water line. Every time you pull the handle down, water is raised up, and every time you allow the handle to go up, the pump is lowered into the water, loading itself for the next push. For those curious, Simple Pump has a good explanation of each part and piece of their system. The nice thing about both of these modern pump designs is that there's no priming needed and very little maintenance. As in, you'll need to give the entire system a once over probably every five years or so. Manual pumps should work in all seasons as long as they have something called a weep hole installed. This simple hack is just a hole drilled into the PVC pipe below the frost level. After you're done pumping, water will slowly leak out until it reaches equilibrium, ensuring that the pipe itself will never freeze solid. As someone who has personally pumped water on a one degree morning, I can guarantee that it makes it possible to use a hand pump in temperatures well below freezing. To be clear, my pump is operating in Ozark winters, though not Alaskan winters. If you're in an area with deep permafrost, make sure you do your research before installation. When you install a manual pump, it's up to you how off-grid you want it to be. You may choose to have it be your main source of water, or you can use it as a backup. It may give you peace of mind to know that it's completely possible to install a hand pump side by side with an electric pump, which gives you both convenience and water security. If you do decide to have a manual pump only as a backup, however, you'll need to make a point to pump some water every other day or so, just to make sure the system is still in good working order. Now, if the idea of lugging buckets for your daily water use is not for you, it is also possible to use a manual pump to pressurize the water inside a house. But not every manual pump is capable of inside use, so be sure to do research. Using this system, you can actually manually pump water from your well through a hose and into a pressure tank inside the house. The tank can then allow water to flow from faucets and into toilets, so much of your house function as normal. Pumping water into the pressure tank will just become another one of those daily chores. Now, it is hard to give an exact figure on how much a hand pump is going to cost you. The overall cost depends on how deep your well is and what model you want. The deeper the well, the more expensive it's going to be, as you will need a larger number of sucker rod and pipe segments. Additionally, if you have no well drilled already, the price is going to rise exponentially. On our homestead, we opted for using a well that had already been dug, and then added the manual pump to that system. Now, our well was fairly deep, so the final price for an entire system was a little over $2,000. Keep in mind that this doesn't include the price of getting the original well pulled out. We also save money by choosing to do the installation ourselves. Now, in your minds, this might be just a small price to pay for having consistent, weatherproof access to your own water. Additionally, if you also do the installation yourself, that allows you to handle and understand every piece of the unit. It can certainly give you confidence that you could fix the pump yourself if trouble struck. So how deep can you pump water? Well, the answer to this question is entirely dependent on the type of pump you decide to install. The simple pump I use is capable of working from a depth of 325 feet in static water level. Now, before you get any pump installed on your property, take the time to find out what your personal well's specifications are so you can make the best choice. Finding our well's information was only possible by having a service come out and pull out the old well for us. So you might have to do quite a bit of work if the information is not on record. Now, is hand pump water safe to drink? 
This is a complicated question because it's totally dependent on your personal well, how deep it was dug, what's in the surrounding area, and what your method is to transport the water. Once upon a far off time, well water could probably be drunk directly without fear of contamination, but now you need to be a little less trusting and a lot more proactive when it comes to managing your water. In general, the deeper the well has been dug, the safer the water, but I would still recommend having your personal well water tested once you have access to it. Personal wells are not monitored or protected by agencies like the EPA, so the responsibility falls into your hands. Thankfully, there are relatively cheap kits you can order to test the water yourself. And there are plenty of services you can find online who can give you a report card of what's in your water. On our homestead, all of the water that we use for drinking and cooking goes through a Berkey water filtration system. These filtering systems get my highest recommendation. And if you're looking for a way to make any water safe, I think you could find no better option. Now I'm not sponsored or paid by them. I just have depended on our Berkey system for many years and the faithful thing has worked without a hitch. The filtration system is expensive, admittedly, but when it comes to something as vital as water, many of us are more than willing to forego some nights out to eat in department store clothes in favor of having decades of safe water. Now I wanna share some tips from our manual pumped homestead. If you're doing research on manual pumps to see if you could switch your home or small farm over to hand pumped water, then you're just as passionate about self-reliance as we are. As such, I have some tips and tales for those of you who are willing to forego modernity in favor of some sloshy hand pump goodness. First off, nothing will make you more aware of your water use than pumping it yourself. In order to depend on a manual pump, you must change your mindset when it comes to water use. The average American uses an astounding 80 to 100 gallons of water a day. That wasteful, thoughtless manner of living just isn't possible with a manual pump. I see that as a good thing. Do you think it's possible to get through a whole day using only 50 gallons of water? 20? 10? I'll let you in on a secret. A human can comfortably make it through the day with only five gallons of water for personal use. I'll leave it to you to figure out how to make that work. But what about laundry day, you might ask? Or watering animals? Here's my next tip. There's no need to have your hand pump be the sole source of water for your homestead. If you pair your manual pump with a rain catchment system, then you will have more water than you know what to do with. Use rainwater to water the animals, the garden, or wash laundry. Then you can reserve the work of hand pump and water for drinking, cooking, and dishes. Another thing that will benefit the manual pump user are some really good buckets. Food grade five gallon buckets can be used for pretty much anything water related on your homestead. You can either order them new or check out your local Craigslist to breathe some new use into some old food industry buckets. You may think that the effort of pumping water might be too much for you, but like anything, you can get used to it. I admit the first week I used my manual pump for daily use, I got pretty tired. But now that I have years of pumping and bucket hauling under my belt, I'm much stronger, more grateful, and much much less wasteful. Best of all, no power outage can take my water from me ever again. So do any of you hand pump your own water? Or if you're considering installing a hand pump, what questions drove you to make the switch? Let us know in the comments below. 